Good at the 0-2, swung on and she gets her out. And that, she's gonna have to throw her or tag her. And there she is tagged out. <laughs> and she went out of bounds too. As and Gordon takes it deep left field. And is it fair or foul? It is a fair ball. She ties one record and sets another with one stroke of the bat. It's number 18, tying toll, and number 85 for the Dukes this year, and make it one nothing, James Madison. Well, there is no doubt. Oh, wow. Yes. Women's basketball coach to Virginia Tech. And the Jamie alum, and that's a little looper that's going to get right behind second base. One run scores. Here comes a second run to the plate. It's cut off. If that ball's not cut off, we might have a play at the plate. But hustle running for the Dukes to come across this season. Now working through a couple of long ABs here. Yes. Already at 30 pitches. And she gets her another strikeout. That is four, two per frame for good. And it leaves another runner stranded. This time, though, in scoring position. A short, an error on the shortstop on the shovel. And that's a little looper to left field. And Odyssey Alexander changes the score, make it 4 nothing, And, well... Walton was just an out away from shutting out the Dukes for at least an inning. But the Dukes and leading off the bottom of the third, it'll be Sarah Jubis who yams one to deep left field, and that is gone. Five nothing, JMU leads, wasting no time. The shortstop. Jubis goes deep, and uh, I said earlier she's the first in a successive order of facing those that do not have double-digit home runs. Well, change that five in a row in this lineup as she gets her tenth of the year. Good Alexander and Peyton Burrish, all, all conference performers. Got her looking to end the top of the fourth inning. One, two, three, go the Phoenix for the first. She only went an inning and two thirds, and the Dukes put four up on her. That was part of the 13 to two final. Payoff pitch is grounded over to short. Serafini can't keep it in front. Here comes Alexander to second. What an effort play for the JMU designated player. Effective in three and two thirds innings in that contest. Goes to the backstop. Here comes Lomax, and she's safe. 6-0 JMU after the wild pitch. Watch well, Lopez. Slap down the right field line. That's a base hit. Here comes Clark. She will score. Another runner home. Can't get the tag. Yes, she can. Ends up being a two-run double or one-run double. Mitchell moves over to third, and Roadcap nearly got that tag down. At the can't do it there as Serafini tried to hit something way up. And Megan Good gets her seventh strikeout, but a run score. Throw. So Nyoka is trying to reach for the second time as she launches one to deep center field. Murray on the run, and that ball is out of here. Madison Nyokas putting the Dukes up by six. It's 7-1. And Iokas uh, circles the bases for the uh, fifth time. And in uh, the first, second. That one's hit deep to left. And a foul joins the hitting party. Back to back home runs for the Dukes. And now it's eight to one. And before I have a chance to finish all of that, many of these runs have come with the leadoff runner not on board. So. CAA Player of the Year trying to send her team to Friday. Great over to second, throw to home. She's safe and JMU wins. Clark dished it home to White. A good sliding effort there from Kate Gordon and JMU wins it in five innings, nine to one. Clark really